जय हिंद दोस्तों ए वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू आवर चैनल वेलकम टू द इंटरनेशनल न्यूज सेगमेंट ऑफ इंडियन फन ट्रेवलर Russia's planning biggest war in Europe since 1945 says Oks Johnson British PM warns of potential sheer cost in human life British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said Saturday said a Russian invasion appeared imminent and that Moscow's plan has already in some senses begun I am afraid to say that the plan we are seeing is for something that could be really the biggest war in Europe since 1945 just in terms of sheer scale Johnson told the BBC people need to understand the sheer cost in human life that could entail he said Johnson noted that a war would not only lead to the deaths of Ukrainians but also young Russian Johnson said the UK was coordinating its sanctions closely with the EU if Russia invades its neighbor we will sanction Russian individuals and companies of strategic importance to the Russian state and we will make it impossible for them to raid Finance on the London capital markets he said in Munich where he was attending the security conference Johnson added that authorities would look for the ultimate beneficiaries of Russian owned companies and entities London is a key financial market for Moscow and plays a crucial role in the Russian economy Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky facing a sharp spike in violence in and around territory held by Russia backed rebels and increasingly dire warnings that Russia plans to invade on saturday called for russian president vladimir putin to meet him and seek resolution to the crisis i don't know what the president of the russian federation wants so i am proposing a meeting zelensky said at the munich security conference where he also met with the vice president kamala harris Zelensky said Russia could pick the location for the talk. Ukraine will continue to follow only the diplomatic path for the sake of a peaceful settlement. There was no immediate response from the Kremlin. However, French President Emmanuel Macron will call Putin on Sunday to try to avert what Western powers predict will be an imminent invasion of Ukraine. Zelensky spoke hours after separatist leaders In eastern Ukraine ordered a full military mobilization on Saturday while western leaders made increasingly dire warnings that a Russian invasion of its neighbor appeared imminent in new signs of fears that a war could start within days Germany and Austria told their citizens to leave Ukraine German air carrier Lufthansa canceled flights to the capital Kyiv and to Odessa a black sea port that could be a key target in an invasion Israel's foreign ministry on Saturday issued a fresh call for Israelis in Ukraine to immediately leave the country. The ministry made the appeal after holding a situational assessment and following talks that Director General Alan Ashpis held with unspecified figures at the Munich Security Conference. NATO's liaison office in Kyiv said it was relocating staff to Brussels and to the western Ukraine city of Lviv. Meanwhile, Top Ukrainian military officials came under a shelling attack during a tour of the front of the nearly 8 years separatist conflict in eastern Ukraine. The officials fled to a bomb shelter before hustling from the area. Violence in eastern Ukraine has spiked in recent days as Ukraine and the two regions held by the rebels each accused the other of escalation. Russia on Saturday said at least two shells fired from a government held part of eastern Ukraine landed across the border but Ukrainian foreign minister Dmytro Kuleba dismissed that claim as a fake statement sporadic violence has broken out for years along the line separating Ukrainian forces from the Russia backed rebel but the recent shelling and bombing spike could set off a full scale war the united states and many european countries have alleged for months that russia which has moved about 150,000 troops near the Ukrainian border is trying to create pretexts to invade they are uncoiling and are now poised to strike as defense secretary lloyd austin said saturday during a visit to lithuania harris opened her meeting with zelensky by saying the world was at a decisive moment in history earlier saturday denis pushilin the head of the pro russia separatist government in ukraine's donetsk region cited an immediate threat of aggression from Ukrainian forces in his announcement Ukrainian officials vehemently denied having plans to take rebel controlled areas by force i appeal to all the men in the republic who can hold weapons to defend their families 
their children, wives, mothers, Pushilin said. Together we will achieve the coveted victory that we all need. A similar statement followed from his counterpart in the Luhansk region. On Friday, the rebels began evacuating civilians to Russia with an announcement that appeared to be part of their and Moscow's efforts to paint Ukraine as the aggressor. Like us, subscribe us and support us by sharing the video.